to the Korean American community here in Riverside. Known as a Pachapa camp was actually the very first Korean American the first Korean town in America. The first Korean town in America. Korean Korean town in America. Settlement. So they were there. Professor of Ethnic Studies and director of Young Kim Center for Korean American Studies. One of the latest research project I am almost done with is known as a Pachapa Camp, the first Korea town in America. The project began with a map. And here is a picture of the Sanborn map, but it shows specifically Korean settlements. So they were there. And here is what it looks like today. It's Commerce Street, they're the railroad tracks. Well, they're actually located in the exact same spots, the same alignment. Uh, Pachapa Avenue is now Commerce Street though, and it's to my left here, right alongside the railroad right-of-way. We still have the railroad uh, alignment to the left or to the, to the northwest here, but the rest of the area has been developed with industrial uses. Uh, to me, it was very strange. I've never heard of Korean settlement in Riverside. I tried to look for materials, but there were none. Finally, was able to get to all Korean newspaper. They were published in 1905 until 1909. That was a jackpot. Uh, it has all kinds of materials, information on Korean community in Riverside, and I was able to piece it all together. So Pachapa Camp, again was um, founded sometime in 1905 and it thrived. And while it thrived, it was because of the citrus industry that was here. So citrus industry here was phenomenal. I mean, this area was wealthy, 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 wealthy. And it was sizable. So Pachapa Camp was different. It was here that, that Koreans had the opportunity to live together in close proximity. And it was not only a labor camp, um, but an actual community. A community of men, women, and children developed here. And one of the unique features of this community is that unlike other areas of Korean settlement, it was based on family, forming a very thriving, active community that incorporated the, the family lifestyle, um, activities, they had cultural capital. Kind of a downward trend of a Pachapa camp is that 1913, uh, Riverside suffered from deep freeze. The great citrus freeze happened, so the crops were decimated. And that meant there was no more jobs. So that began the downfall of Pachapa camp. And with you know, less work, people began to relocate to another you know, places to find jobs. Korean National Association decided to relocate from the uh, Pachapa camp to nearby Vine Street. And because of that, Pachapa camp began to dwindle, 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 dwindle. And by 1918, it was pretty much gone. And the key person who initiated and helped to construct this Korea town is Dosan An Chang Ho. One of the early settlers of the Pachapa camp was In Su Kim. And he is a distant relative of An Chang Ho's wife, Helen Lee. And they settled and lived in Riverside until this year, her, her youngest daughter, Violet Kim, she passed away in April 23rd, 2018. And she donated all kinds of photographs, you know, archival materials. And among some of the things that we found were the very first passports of the very first Korean immigrants to the United States, January 13, 1903. We found a passport in its original paper stamped by the Korean Foreign Ministry and everything. I mean, this is history. Based on my you know, research project, I was able to uh, write a uh, journal article. City of R Riverside decided to recognize historical significance of the Pachapa camp, and they designated it as the number one, first uh, point of cultural interest by the city of Riverside last year. Young Kim Center for Korean American Studies was established in 2010. Uh, we have an intern program. Um, we keep about two to three interns per quarter or per, per year. We're also always looking for both 
paid and not volunteer interns. And if you are interested in learning how to do you know, academic research, you'll be welcome. And you can apply. We made a research unit in the university, but also we want to connect with the community that we are part of. So, you know, our research center is constantly trying to do both. Mm -hmm.